going to teach you how to install Mozilla Firefox. So open up your current web browser. And as you can see from mine, I'm using Windows Internet Explorer at the moment. And then in your search engine, type in Firefox. And then either click on the search button or press enter. As you can see, the Mozilla Firefox website is the first one that comes up in the listing. So that's the one we need to open. Right, so this is the home page for Mozilla Firefox. So if you scroll down the page, there's some very interesting things about Mozilla. If you've never used it before, you've never heard of it before. So you can explore this website to your heart's content and have a look at some of their tips and things that are on here. But for the moment, we're going to continue with the installation. So click on the big green Firefox download button and the installation should start. Okay. So if you get any of these file, um, sec file download, download security warning boxes appear, just click run. I'll just take a minute just to tell you about Mozilla Firefox. I like it because you can customise it, you can install applications and add-ons to use with it. You can also change the themes, you have different styles or pictures up where your toolbars are. It's really, really customisable and web browser. And it's becoming more and more popular as well. Okay, just click on run here and let it continue. What I'm going to do is when we've installed Mozilla Firefox, I'm going to show you how to change the home page on it as well. So it's just extracting the data. And then we get the welcome screen and you just want to click next. And I'm going to go for the standard installation, but you can choose custom if you prefer and it might um, it gives you the option to decide where it's installed and that sort of thing. Now just as a little tip, um, as you can see the next button down here has got a blue ring around it. Now that makes it the default button. So what you can do instead of clicking your mouse on the button is you can use the enter key instead and that will select that button. If you don't want that one, if you use the tab key on your keyboard, you can toggle between um, as you can see the next, the back and the cancel button. So you can highlight the one that you want as the default button. So I, I want to stick it back on next because that's what I want and I'm going to push enter. So I'm going to have a standard installation. And as you can see it's chosen to save my um, installation files to my program files Mozilla Firefox folder. And if you notice here there's a check in this box here that's um, to indicate that I want Firefox to be installed as my default web browser. That basically means if um, I click on the hyperlinks then Mozilla Firefox is the um, browser that will open. If you um, have another um, web browser installed on your computer and you prefer that one to be the default then just click on this box and remove the tick. Okay let's carry on installing. Right, and now I'm being told that Mozilla Firefox has been installed on my computer and I am going to leave the tick in because I'd like to launch Firefox now. So I'm going to click finish. So Mozilla Firefox is open now and as you can see it's free and open source software so anyone can use it and it's produced by non-profit foundation. And also on this page you can look at changing your persona which means putting a different theme onto your browser. But for the time being, I don't want that, so I'm just going to close it down by clicking on the tab. And I'm going to show you how to change the home page. So if you go to the location bar, type in the home page that you want, then go to Tools, Options, and use Current Page, and it will be reset. One more tip before I go, if you don't want to close your current web page down, but open another one to carry on surfing or looking at other sites, you click on the plus and it opens you up another um, screen that you can view a web page on. Thank you for watching. See you later.